Hi, it's Bridget at Above Life Channel. Welcome. Today, our purpose, as always, is to inspire your spirit, to fill you up with hope. And today, I'm going to continue some conversations with one of my friends in the afterlife, Prince. And if you want to know more about that particular friendship and our connection, you can visit thepurplemedium.com and click on the blog and you can go all the way back to spring 2016 and learn about all the different audios and things that um, we've shared. And uh, you can do that if you're interested. All right, so Prince and I, we're, today the topic is the law of attraction. Now, that might seem like an odd topic to ask Prince about, but it's not. It's a perfect topic. In fact, it came up in one of my small groups. I facilitate some small groups, and um, someone asked about this, and I thought it was a brilliant question. Law of attraction. So if you could talk first about Prince and I are going to have conversation style, like how he and I would have it normally, just without the cameras rolling. And so um, he's already here because I did just did a video with him, so... His energy is mellow. He's got like a khaki or a tan kind of pantsuit on. Um, it looks like there's a scarf around his neck, like a little scarf kind of light. It's not big and fluffy. It's just a little scarf tie thing. And it's like a leopard print. So he's really mellow, a khaki and like a tan, kind of soft, kind of flowy little suit type thing. It's not a formal suit. It's like a um, kind of like a polyester thing that has like an overlay and then this little kind of tie, leopard tie. Can you, let's talk about um, law of attraction. Let's talk a little bit about that. First, I do want to share that I have shared resources for law of attraction specifically related to Esther Hicks. She is an incredible channel and she channels a group of energy that's called Abraham, which is basically like God's source energy, a group of kind of teachers that talk about how we can manifest and also in our human bodies, while also connecting and understanding spirit and energy. And so she's, Esther Hicks is a great channel. I have a lot of respect for her. She's just really good at what she does. And so if, you're, if you've looked up Law of Attraction or Esther Hicks or Abraham, you know what that's all about. And if you haven't, I'd encourage you to do that, kind of see, at first it seemed really kind of out there to me. And then, you know, that was like six, seven years ago. And now it's like, oh yeah, totally. It just feels good, the vibes. If you just feel it and don't even listen to it, you just feel the energy. If you get it in your heart chakra, it just, it feels good. It helps to kind of recharge me. It's one of my positive inputs that I use. So can you talk about law of attraction in context? Maybe talk about it as a person. Like, did you believe in that? He says, absolutely. Because you make your life what it is. It doesn't matter what happens to you. It doesn't matter what happened to you. It's what you do with that. He's like, it, it unfolds based upon the way that you react and you respond. And he says, so many people try to get response out of you. Everything is the shock value. I mean, if you turn on the news, it's just, everything's in your face and it's war and it's it's fighting and it's drama and it's in, it's just this chaos he's sharing. With. He's like saying, it's war, it's war, it's chaos. And, and there's a war going on in your own mind because of that. And if you choose to buy into that story, then you become part of it. You don't want that story. And I'm not saying you shouldn't be aware of what's going on in the world in global situations. If you can impact that, if you can make a difference, then you can then make a difference. But it's just a, it's a way to sidetrack you, to distract you from the real point of your life, which is you making your life the way it needs to be for you to be happy, to be free, to feel good. And that's nobody's business but your own. Nobody can do that for you. Nobody can do things for you to make your life better. No amount of money is going to satisfy you if you're not feeling as close as you can to your true He's t he's saying as close as you can to God, which he is, he's showing me is inside, inside like he goes right into my heart and into my belly, which the belly is solar plexus or, or um, spirit chakra. So he's going, God, because God is in us. We are God energy. We have the power to manifest and create. And so that's what you're saying, right? But he's saying his big message is it doesn't matter what happens to you. It does not matter. You can have the most worst upbringing, the hor horrible experience, in your life and it can just 
the way you choose to respond to that experience, how you choose to be a human after that, that's on you. He's like, that's on you. That's on you. It is. It's on you. And so many times people get off track because they're not paying attention to what's what the information is inside of them, what's telling them who they are and 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 how they will feel fulfilled, they will be connected, they will be okay, you gotta use because I'm feeling the feeling, but I'm trying to use words that aren't his. The trust yourself thing isn't enough to share that. I trusting yourself isn't isn't enough powerful to, to accurately reflect way. He's making me feel like it's on you. Like it's in you. Thank you. Perfect. He's like deeper, Bridget. He's like, go deeper, Bridget. Go deeper. Go deeper. Go deep. Go deep. I'm gonna throw a football at you. Go deep. Go deep. I'm like, okay. He said, it's not lip service. It is inside of you. And that's how you bring into your life by what you put out to life and how you respond to what's happening around you is a part of who you're going to be and what you're going to believe. Are you gonna believe what's out there or are you gonna believe what's inside you? What's inside here? Are you gonna believe what you think about yourself or are you gonna believe what others are telling you about yourself? And it's not even the thoughts and the mind. The law of attraction is very, um, in particular, it's a specific, I think, if I share, if I use the words law of attraction, he's saying, Bridget, if I use the words law of attraction, people are going to get confused because they are going to think that it's a system or a process of if I do this, it's a formula, then this happens. And he says, it, it ain't about that. It's not about that. You are what you make your life. You are. The problem is you get so much messages and so much information from outside of you that you believe that isn't even true about who you really are, but you know who you are. Like in the quiet times, he's like, you know, in the truth, you know who and what you are. And you get to choose what you believe. He's like, you choose what you believe. That's how you law of attract. That's how you manifest. That's how you make life. It's life is what you believe it to be. It's what you believe about you. It doesn't, it's not even, it's not about like political views and what you think about other people, what you think about different countries, what you think about politics or, or um, techniques for saving money or ways to start a business or specific instruments to play for music. It's about what you have got to do, experience, feel, to feel alive, to be alive. And that, yeah, I get that that sounds selfish and it sounds like, oh, it's easier to say that and then to do it. That's a cop out. Like he's like, that's an excuse. And he's pointing to me. He's like, look at you. You got like a whole army of children. You got a lot of stuff in your environment. He's like, you got a lot of noise in your life. But those are choices you make because it gives you something, right? And he's like, talk about that. It gives you something. Yeah, it's, it's fulfilled me. I've learned so much about myself from being a mom. I never, I was the one growing up that was never going to be a parent. I wasn't going to have kids. I don't need kids. Now I have the most. I have four out of all my siblings. I'm the one that has them all, like the whole herd. But they've taught me so much and it's been hard. It's not easy at all, but it's taught me so much about life, you know, and going through a divorce and, you know, I mean, it's, and then leaving a career with really great money and then, you know, just doing my own business and being home with my children. And I mean, there's been a whole, just so much that's come from my life experience and the different opportunities and choices that I've had. So I totally understand how you manifest, how we create our lives. I understand that. I'm so, I so understand that. But then when I sit here and I think about Prince, I think about things I'd like to accomplish or I'd like, not even accomplish, that's not even the right word anymore with the law of attraction too. That's not even the right word. Things I want to experience. Like there's parts of life that I want to experience, you know? And I also have a huge desire to make a difference. I mean, you know that. He's like, that I do. That I do. He's like, that I do. And you know who you are. He says, you know who you are. You know who you are. 
He's like, but you scared. He's like, but you scared too. You talk about fear. That's what holds most people back from having the life that they want. They get they get scared. He's like, it's it's natural to get scared. He's like, I. He's like talking about. He's admitting that he in his life he was scared. The scary some of the scariest times in his life were times when he felt like he really invested or cared deeply about someone, something, a situation or a circumstance. We're not going to be specific, but you know what we're talking about. And no matter what he did, it didn't seem like it could, like he didn't feel like he deserved happiness in that way or like he was asking for too much or wanted too much out of life and life couldn't give it back to him. And he was afraid to lose everything he could possibly want. And so he's talking about fear and he's like, fear is really real. Fear is a motivator because it keeps you away. It keeps you away from some of the things you want so much, your desire. Bridget would use the word desire, he says. People are afraid to have dreams because they think like you, you're a mom, you got kids, you got to pay bills, you got this, you got that. So what are you not doing because you have all these other commitments, responsibilities, he's like responsibilities. What are you not doing because of that? Because you're afraid that if you do something else, that you might not be able to have money to pay the car payment or the insurance for your daughter. What, what are you not doing because you're afraid of not having what you need? You're afraid of messing up the flow. And it's that fear that stops you from having more abundance, more happiness, more fulfillment, more energy, more room, more space, more momentum to have more success. And more success brings more happiness, fulfillment. Success not just in money, not just in outside achievements, academic achievements, um, successful business stuff, whatever that is, but success as far as life. He's like a life success, you know? Like happy, party, fun, joy, fulfillment? Are those even on your radar? Or do you think you have to live through your kids in order to get that? Or do you have to, do you think you get that when you get a diploma? Or do you think you get that from a particular job when you just find the right job or you just find the right spouse? You gotta find the right one thing. And that'll, that'll be the magic bullet. That'll be the magic pill. Intended. He says, that reference was intended. Finding the pursuit of seeking that which you already have and have access to, which is covered by an umbrella of fear, is what will kill you. The fear of even dreaming, letting yourself think about what the possibilities might be and what the best op coolest, most incredible experiences could be. The daydreaming. Let yourself do that. Don't be scared of it not happening. Oh, I'm scared of disappointment. Well, you're going to be disappointed anyway. Because you're going to compare. Because that's what the brain does. This or that. Oh, look what this person has. Look what I have. Look, If I do this, this, and this, will I get that? There's a formula. There's no formula. It's inside of you. The special code, the combination is inside of you. And it's everything you already got inside of you there's nothing anybody can teach you better than you can learn for yourself and your own experiences you got to follow those feelings those desires he's like you gotta follow where's that oh that's interesting oh i want to check that out you got to make room for some of that exploration so you can have some experiences so you can feel more so you can feel get to know and understand yourself then you'll be happy happier than what you are right now so that's your law of attraction huh no practical advice or anything <laughs> what do you expect if you've listened to prince at all in the afterlife you understand that mm, a direct answer is not likely, and if he usually gives me one, it's usually something snarky. It's that Minnesota dry, sarcastic sense of humor that he has, that we both have, let's be honest. I have it too. I just try to like 
tame it down for the YouTube. <laughs> Thanks, Prince. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Great topic. Great topic. If you have comments about this topic, about law of attraction stuff, about manifesting, about anything that Prince talked about, or comments for Prince um, for future videos, please go ahead and put them below. Make sure you give a like, a big thumbs up to this video. Share it with others you think would benefit or find it interesting. And be sure to subscribe to Above Life channel. Click that red bell button so that you get notice every time there's a new video up. Remember, I do weekly channels from well-known spirits in the afterlife because dead people, they give the best advice. This is Bridget at Above Life channel. Thank you for being here.